G'day guys, in this video we're bringing back the XVS 650. Guys, as I said in that quick intro, we're bringing back the XVS 650 bobber. There's a bit of unfinished business with this and I want to just improve the chopper look of it. Uh, I want to go all out and do a few jobs that I've been meaning to do. Uh, since you've seen it last, I've literally just cut off a couple of tabs and I've re-sprayed the jugs black. Nothing serious. I've done very, very little to it in the 12 months or so that it hasn't been on the channel. I've ridden it a few times, I love it, I've decided not to sell it because I want to go all out on it and it'll end up pretty much being unsellable I think. Bottom line is that in this video we're going to be installing some Justified Cruiser Customs 4 inch slugs or fork extensions. Uh, this video has been a long time coming because getting slugs for this bike was an absolute nightmare. Uh, I used another company in Australia and it turned out to be a nightmare. They didn't fit, uh, they weren't particularly good quality, they weren't particularly good to work with. Uh, all in I got a refund, it's sorted, I'm not going to name that company. Uh, so I went with Justified Cruiser Customs for 4 inch, but the positive there is that I won't have to mess around with the speedo cable and the brake lines, things like that. I've got them. No complaints, let's get them on the bike. Guys, there's the XVS 650 with the 4 inch fork extensions added to it that I got from Justified Cruiser Customs. I think they look great, they went on alright, was a bit of messing about. My recommendation is just jack the front of the bike up, take the front wheel off and that just gives you the flexibility you need to get them on easier. To finish it off I just rerouted the speedo cable 
so it's not too tight. I rerouted the clutch cable because it was just catching on things and I didn't want it to pull too tight at full lock and I just unclipped the grommets from the brake hose just again so it wasn't too tight. Uh, gave it a quick polish, put everything back together and it th I think it looks absolutely fantastic. But the proof will be on the road so let's go put some gear on and take it for a test ride. G'day guys. As promised, just out test riding the four inch extensions that I bought from Justified Cruiser Customs in Newcastle. impressions are pretty good just taking it easy in case I get any weird wobbles or squirming that could turn into a tank slapper less nimble but with the front lifted up I certainly feel like I can lean it in harder And it does feel a little bit more stable in straight line. So, with the one inch rises, eight inch lift bars, four inch fork extensions, I've still got more than enough room on my brake, all my cables, my speedo, clutch. Nothing is pulled so tight, there's a concern. Which is a real win. Because there's no one easily accessible in this part of Tasmania that could extend my cables today. People talk about on long fork bikes and not that a four inch, four inch extension is a long fork bike by any stretch but people talk about the front wheel wanting to flop over this seems to be quite the opposite it seems to be actually very stable particularly stable in straight line and I believe that's why people change the rake and increase the length of the forks. Not only for the look, but the straight line stability when they jump on their choppers and ride across country. So yeah, all in all, I'd say these are an absolute win. They look good. They're worth, well thought out. I've got that nice, neat, baffled hole through them to help you tighten them up. It's run 
$500 delivered anywhere in Australia. I bought these myself. No sponsorship from the company whatsoever, as per usual. Guys, all in all, these look and feel fantastic. They're pretty easy to install. You definitely want to have the ability to pick the front wheel up at the very least with some sort of lift to take the weight off the springs so that they don't just go sprawling everywhere. Out on the road, they feel great. Straight line stability seems to be increased, which you'd expect with slightly longer forks. Anything that you feel initially that you've lost in how nimble the bike is, you gain the ability to lead it over a lot further because your pegs are further off the ground. Yeah, that bike feels fantastic not squirrely at all I'm really impressed it gives you a lot of confidence that was pretty narrow there to overtake when I put these up on my Instagram people were concerned about slugs being sketchy and yeah Back in the 70s they probably were. When I communicated with Jono, he said he'd had bikes come in for servicing at work that have had slugs off for 50,000 K with no issue. And I can see why the quality of the workmanship is great. The design he's done is pretty cool. Very well thought out. A bevel hole through the fork tube extension so that you can tighten it up by putting an allen key on the lights through it. Great idea. And then everything's just hidden in the triple tree. They polished easily with some metal polish. Look fantastic. I couldn't be more happy, I'm absolutely stoked. So I really can't recommend this enough, it's great. I wouldn't bother going with any other supplier. Just go to Justified Custom Cruises and grab your set, self a set. Come in one, two, three and four inch extensions I believe. He won't do any beyond that because of the safety concerns. Fair enough. 4 inch you don't need to really worry about extending the brake line or the speedo cable or anything like that even if you've got a little bit of lift in your bars like I've got guys I'm stoked I'm going to leave you there I'm riding across the Mile Creek probably going to have a coffee at one of my favourite cafes guys I will leave you there Till I see you next time, because we've got unfinished business on this XVS 650. So we'll be working on this for the next few videos. Till I see you next time guys, I'm out. Make it easy.